What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Evan Neal, uh, offensive lineman out of Alabama. Now, right now, he is playing uh, left tackle. I would personally put him at guard. He is a big-ass human. He is 6'7", and about 360 pounds. He's a big-ass dude. Um, and he's definitely strong as fuck. He's got a good anchor. You're not going to bull rush him. Um... Now, I will say he could use that size a little bit better. I really wish he would really punch out um, and really strike his opponent and really use that strength to just dominate his opponent. I think he could be taught to do that a little bit more effectively. Um, but, you know, hey. Um, and I will say, for his size, he does move pretty decent. His feet are okay, but they are a little bit heavy, a little bit choppy, just due to the nature of how big he is. Uh, not only the weight, but also him just being 6'7", so him being able to move quickly is limited. Um, and his hands tend to get a little bit high uh, because of that, so I'd I like him to rein those in a little bit. His hands are decent, they just tend to go a little bit high sometimes. Um, when he does miss, that it, that is where it goes. Uh, now, I will say, like his ability to change direction quickly... Um, whether it be because of a speedy edge rusher or a gap exchange or anything like that, th that that is fairly limited, which is why I want him on the inside. Um, just kind of playing in a phone booth with your opponent right in front of you. Uh, just kind of strike out and handle those big ass 330-pound uh, nose tackles and shit in the league. That's what I'd rather him deal with than the uh, quicker edge rushers on the outside. Um, cause it, you're going to have a pretty hard time just beating this guy with power. So that's where I would rather put him personally. Uh, he's also got pretty good knee bend, a good base to really pair with that size. Um, but I think he can be a really good player. He, he definitely has some things to work on. Um, he does finish for the most part, but there are definitely some plays, uh, where he kind of lets off a little bit more than I would like, um, I, I especially with how with how big and strong he is, I really want to see him just driving into people consistently. I want him to be a little bit angrier, um, and I'm not really seeing that as much as I would like. I, like I said, I would really like to see him punch a little bit more, um, and he does sometimes try to do like a one hand punch as well. Which, if you see my Dolphins film sessions, it's something that I can't stand. Uh, Joe Thomas used to do that, and like Tyron Smith does that sometimes too with Dallas. But you know, Joe Thomas is one of the best offensive linemen to ever play this game, and Tyron Smith has been a Pro Bowler more times than I can count. So, you know, they they've kind of earned that. Um, but with this guy, especially with his lack of speed to be able to make up in case that fails, uh, I'm not really a big fan of him doing that. Um, so, yeah, that that is a bit of a thing. Uh, I don't really want to see him in, like, a zone type of scheme. I'd really like to see him go somewhere that uh, really wants to, like, power run the football. I think that would really uh, benefit his style the most. Um, somewhere like Baltimore or something like that. I, th I, I think he can be pretty good regardless um, and also teams like Baltimore, that's the only way I'd ever want him to stay at tackle. And I still would rather him play guard, but I think he could play tackle for Baltimore. Um, but overall, I, 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 I do think he would benefit greatly from moving to guard. So, uh, yeah, pretty pretty interesting prospect to say the least. Um, like I said, he could get a little bit more shirt up in his hands, work on the feet a little bit more. Probably lose some of that weight, so he's a little bit faster. Uh, even at guard, 360 is a little bit much. Um, you don't really need all that. I'm, I'm, I'm sure that the NFL strength and conditioning program will take care of that. I'm, he'll probably bring the weight down a little bit, too, before the combine, if we have a combine this year. Um, it's looking like we probably will, if, if we're lucky. So uh, We'll see, though. We'll see. Um, but anyway... I think that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, appreciate hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.